Let's look at another question. So in this question, we'll be told that using the substitution t is equal to tan x, evaluate the integral of 1 over 4 cos squared x plus 9 squared x dx. So what do we do here? So this is also going to require waste stress substitution where we let t be equal to tan x. So we've already been told to let t is equal to tan x. So dt dx from here, we can say that it is 6 squared x. Then we know that 6 squared x is the same as 1 plus tan squared x. So that's what we'll have. And then we can remember that t represents tan x. So therefore, we can have this as 1 plus t squared. And then if we make dx subject, dx should actually be equal to dt over 1 plus t squared. So now next we shall remember it again that this can actually be expressed as tan x being equal to t over 1. And then you can place that in a right angle triangle. So the angle is x and then the opposite is t and the adjacent is 1. So from Pythagoras theorem, we can actually find the hypotenuse. So if we make c the subject, c should actually be equal to root of 1 plus t squared. So we can place that right there. So now in this case, we need to know what cos squared x and what sine squared x will represent. So therefore, sine x, we can see sine x is opposite over hypotenuse. So we'll have sine x being equal to t over root of 1 plus t squared. And then cos of x is actually adjacent over the hypotenuse. So we'll have it as 1 over root of 1 plus t squared. So you can see that sine squared x should actually be equal to the square of this, which is actually going to be equal to t squared over 1 plus t squared. So that's going to be our equation 2. And then, now let's also find the squared, of course. So in a square, that will have 1 over 1 plus t squared. And then therefore, this shall actually be our equation 3. So now to know what sine squared x and cos squared x are in terms of t, we can now replace that and put them back in the integral. So when you put them back in the integral, this is what we'll have. So next we can actually start solving. So you can actually say this value here, 1 over 1 plus t squared shall actually go to the numerator and then we shall leave the dt right there. So this is what we have basically. So multiply the 4 in and we'll have 4 over 1 plus t squared. Multiply the 9 in and we'll have 9 t squared over 1 plus t squared. So you can actually see here that the denominators are the same. So that means you can actually combine those so we'll have them as 4 plus 9t squared over 1 plus t squared. And then you can actually set the denominators of the numerator and the denominator will cancel. And then we'll be left with integral of 1 over 4 plus 9t squared. So now this can actually be solved using trigonometric, tan trigonometric substitution. But for now, let's first factorize out the 4. So when you factorize out the 4, we'll have it being into 1 plus 9t squared over 4. But we can see that 9 is the same as 3 squared and then 4 is the same as 2 squared. So we can combine those and we'll have them as integral of 1 over 4 into 1 plus 3 into bracket 3t over 2, then square that bracket. So now by tan trigonometric substitution, we can see that 3t shall be equal to tan theta. Then let's make t the subject, t shall actually be equal to 2 over 3 tan theta. So if we differentiate that, dt the theta shall actually be equal to 2 over 3 sec squared theta. So make dt the subject and dt shall actually be equal to 2 over 3 sec squared theta d theta. Then if we solve for theta from right here, we can actually see that theta shall actually be equal to tan inverse of 3t over 2. So now put all those things back into the integral and we'll have them as 1 over 4 into 1 plus tan squared theta times 2 over 3 sec squared theta d theta. And then what we can already see is that some values cancel but before we do that, let's just multiply all these values. So we shall have uh, 2 over 12 being pulled out of the integral. And then 6 squared and this 6 squared shall cancel and we'll be left with a 1. Then 2 over 12 is the same as 1 over 6. So we have 1 over 6 into the integral of 1d theta. And now if we integrate 1, we get 1 over 6 into theta times theta plus c. But remember, theta is tan inverse of 3t over 2. So we put that back in and we have 1 over 6 tan inverse of 3t over 2 plus c. But we also remember t is representing tan x. So therefore, we have 1 over 6 tan inverse of 3 over 2 tan x plus c. And that is the answer.